welcome to this special edition of As the Planes Turn. I'm Ed Stewart, the manager of public relations, and by now you've probably heard of the Malice in Dallas, the most famous sporting event of all times held recently in Dallas at the Sportatorium. Let me tell you a little bit about the Malice in Dallas. Of course, it was an arm wrestling match featuring Herb and Kurt Herwald of Stevens Aviation. A while back, an executive from Stevens Aviation sent Herb a letter. The letter said, basically, we love your ad slogan, Herb. It's, it's great. It says, just plain smart. Unfortunately, we had it first in the version of plain smart. Now, instead of suing you, let's settle this like men with arm wrestling. Herb, of course, being Herb, says, you bet, and immediately went into training. Good evening, sports fans. This is Coward Hosell. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The greatest fight of all time pitted Smoke and Joe Frazier against Muhammad Ali, a.k.a. Cassius Clay, in a fight to the finish that came to be known as the Thriller in Manila. It was the stuff of which poems are made. In a little of a sharp poem, it says it will be a killer and a thriller and a killer when I get the gorilla in Manila. That was then, this is now, and once again, somebody's about to kiss the title goodbye. The champion, Smoke and Herb Keller, chairman, CEO, president, and anything else he wants to be of Texas-based Southwest Airlines. The challenger, Kurt C. Kurt Herwald, chairman of South Carolina-based Stevens Aviation. The date, Friday, March 20th. The place, the Dallas Sportatorium. The time, 9 a.m. sharp. The title, Just Plain Smart. Both companies claim it, one's gonna lose it. And our sleeves up, best two out of three arm wrestling match that has been appropriately entitled The Malice in Dallas. The challenger is a burly 38-year-old former bodybuilder who reportedly can bench press a King Air Turbojet. Keller has camp reports he's been undergoing a rather unorthodox training regimen. Her wall's camp has been disarmingly quiet. It's been rumored that Keller can bench press a quart of wild turkey and five packs of cigarettes a day. The champ's a fierce competitor who frequently resorts to kicking, biting, gouging, scratching, and hair pulling to win. And when he's up against the ropes, Smoke and Herb has even been known to beg, plead, whine, and sob piteously. Who will win? Definitely not the lawyers for a change. The prize money goes to charity. Kelleher has named the Ronald McDonald House in Cleveland, Southwest's newest city, as his charity. Her wall has picked the Muscular Dystrophy Association. One thing's for sure, there has never been, and there will never be another fight quite like it. When Smoke and Herb Kelleher meets Curtsy Kurt Herwald in The Malice in Dallas. Admission is free. Seating is limited. Some restrictions may apply. A stitch in time saves nine. Close cover before striking. Some assembly required. 